Hi everyone, this is Brendan here and welcome to my next episode day 26 of my Let's Clash series. So before we begin the series, I'd like to show you guys this picture which showed my YouTube account getting permanently disabled. So what went wrong or what happened with my um, YouTube account? Um, just roughly around 24 hours ago after I uploaded the day 25 um, episode, I got a banned from uh, entering my account and then when I checked on my uh, channel using another account I couldn't see any of my videos in fact I couldn't even search for my channel so I know a lot of you guys have been uh, concerned and also uh, messaged me after I woke up saying that uh, my account has been banned and why did I close my channel down I mean I didn't close my channel down definitely I mean I want to show you guys uh, all the stuff and I'm pretty sure you guys are really happy to show watch all my uh, stuff so far but uh, I'm not too sure why YouTube uh, banned my account but uh, what happened was after they banned me, then uh, the next morning when I woke up, I emailed to them. So I went to do a little bit of research, went to find out how to get your, my account back. And of course, I definitely want to know the reason why I got uh, banned for that uh, time being. So I went ahead to go and appeal to Google. And I went to email to them. I went to, uh, in fact, I went to call Google too. Before I actually uh, emailed to them, the first thing I did, I will call uh, Google's hotline and uh, they didn't um, give me a direct response because uh, it was an automated call and uh, what happened was that uh, they asked me to um, call back during uh, Monday to Friday, 8 to 5 Pacific time. So definitely during the weekend, uh, it's not going to be a, a good idea to call them and it won't be possible for me to have any contact with them via the phone. So it wasn't any uh, help for me to call them in any way. So definitely the only way for me to communicate with them is through email. So the first thing I did, I went to email to Google and asked them uh, some uh, questions, whether is it possible to um, uh, get my account back, this and that, and tell them the situation. However, they didn't respond to me because I think they only respond to um, those uh, emails when it's like Mondays to Friday and it's a weekend right now. But uh, I went ahead to email to uh, YouTube and they didn't respond to me too. So I went to do a little bit of research and I found out that there's a way to appeal for uh, accounts being suspended. So I went ahead to do the appeal and fill up the appeal form, submitting it to YouTube. So after like around 5 hours or so, they replied me saying uh, that my account is still uh, suspended because I have uh, broken some of the terms and condition this and that. But then uh, when I looked at it, I didn't think that I did uh, do anything wrong. I mean, first things first, I mean, if they did, uh, if I really did anything wrong, I would think that YouTube should at least uh, give us a warning, at least uh, tell me beforehand saying that I'm doing this wrong or maybe uh, doing some uh, copyright issue wrong or whatsoever. And uh, definitely give me a warning before that. And uh, I mean, they could remove the sound from the video and not uh, just uh, close my whole entire channel down. That just uh, didn't uh, feel right. And of course, just closing the whole entire channel down saying that it's permanently disabled, I don't think that's a very nice thing to do, especially when a lot of uh, people are actually wondering and uh, know, wanting to know what happened to my account. So I did receive uh, some messages from you guys uh, on the line chat, on uh, whatever uh, messenger, on Facebook. And in fact, some of you had popped by my clan, SG Gladiators, to ask me what happened to my YouTube channel, but why did I close it down, this and that. I mean, uh, I didn't close it down, definitely. So um, I got banned. So I just hope that this doesn't happen again, although it could be a mistake on YouTube's part. Maybe the algorithm had some uh, issues. Um, definitely, it's an automated algorithm that uh, YouTube uses to actually flag your channels. So this thing actually happened to um, another YouTuber, another Clash YouTuber, um, White Lightning, White Lightning HWD. So his account actually got a ban too for roughly 48 hours. So it wasn't uh, too bad for me to get banned for 15 hours taken in, into consideration that they unbanned me at around uh, 6 p.m. Uh, Singapore time, which I got banned at around uh, 3 p.m. after uploading uh, the 20 fifth episode of uh, my Let's Clash series. So I'm not really sure as to why did I get banned. I mean, I'm really new to all this kind of YouTube stuff as in a uh, copyright stuff or whatsoever. So if I did, did really uh, break any of the terms uh, and the conditions and, the, and to do any infringement, I really uh, hope that uh, YouTube can actually uh, do inform me beforehand and not just uh, ban my account for that matter. So I really thank YouTube for being um, this sympathetic to let me have another chance to go for it but I still want to know what was the reason why I got banned because when I emailed to them for during the email I did ask them what was the reason I got banned the only reply I got back was that my uh, YouTube 
channel has been reinstated and my uh, channel is active right now so I didn't get a reason as to why I got banned so if any of you guys have any idea whatsoever as to why uh, some of us clashes like a white lightning or even a master roth or even I myself we got banned in fact other uh, channels uh, they got banned do stay in the comments what you guys think and uh, maybe you guys can uh, give us some um, intrigue enlightenment of uh, why we got banned but uh, definitely these are some uh, youtubing stuff which actually requires a lot of uh, youtubing skills so i'm not too sure whether you guys will understand all the terms this and that um, whether is it applicable to whatever you guys uh, actually are thinking so yeah never mind that's uh, basically the ban that i just want to inform you guys about but not to worry i'm definitely back in action showing you guys uh, more rates but it didn't affect me that much 15 hours ban isn't uh, too much of a pain and of course i still have my videos being a uh, uh, made and edited and I want to show you guys uh, all the uh, videos and also I did have uh, something in mind which if uh, YouTube didn't allow me to get my account back I was uh, really planning to um, create another account in one week's time so I will probably create another new uh, YouTube channel and definitely inform you guys somehow or rather to go over there so that you guys can just carry on and watch the series whether my uh, these previous videos they are all going to be gone or not I'm not really too bothersome about it but uh, definitely there's going to be a breakage not going to be a linkage from the day 1 all the way to day 25 I mean uh, if you talk about uh, other stuff such as uh, uh, subscribers etc this and that I mean it's definitely a way to grow just from the start from another second channel so I'm not too worried about that too so uh, other people such as uh, Zui's such as uh, Nick 69 gaming and uh, other youtube clashes they have also messaged me on uh, line chat uh, asking me what happened and in fact they were helping me around uh, giving me some advice as to email to, to youtube but i've already done that beforehand so uh, i do thank them for that and of course um, i do thank uh, whoever that have given me the support asking me to not be too worried about it i mean i'm really not too worried about it i'm really very relaxed the whole day i'm just uh, playing my clash as usual and then also at the same time i'm just doing some uh, warring on my uh, main account and also doing other stuff on my uh, other accounts too so yeah i'm really not too worried about my channel being um, banned or whatsoever being closed down but i'm really only worried about that i'm not being able to show you guys any more contents so i'm really um passionate about showing you guys all the contents not really even bothering about um the money wise or whatsoever through uh, youtube I mean there are other ways to make money definitely in uh, real life or whatsoever not uh, through um, just uh, making videos or whatsoever but this is just a form of uh, entertainment for you guys uh, making sure that you guys uh, will be able to learn something out from my videos um, that's why my main purpose of making all this uh, series is to show you guys how I actually play Clash to educate you guys and giving you guys some tips along the way and not to just uh, show you guys those kind of crazy loot rates as to just uh, show you guys those kind of 1 million over rates um, I mean those kind they only come by when it's uh, down to luck whether those bases appear for you so I mean those bases those rates are really awesome to watch but the main thing is what you learn from it if you do not learn uh, anything from those videos I mean then it won't help you in your gameplay it's just a really basically for entertainment purpose so my main purpose of making all these uh, clash videos is just to entertain the clash community and of course to help the community out to whether is it a farming whether is it attacking whether is it clan warring or whatsoever case so I really don't bother about uh, entertainment uh, wise that's why I'm not putting too much effort into making my uh, videos too entertaining if you guys find that my videos are really really boring um, then I'm really sorry about that but I have already uh, made some improvement as in to add some uh, music into it because some of you have requested for it uh, of course uh, it do uh, make the video more uh, entertaining and of course I myself uh, do enjoy having the videos uh, being played on my, vi on my videos too so yeah I think we, now we can go back and talk about Clash so now as you can see my base uh, the base design that I made has uh, really worked well as now this guy using uh, some archers trying to take out the gold storages but he failed to get it so now going ahead with my very own attack on this tower 8 with 253,000 gold available so although the loot isn't uh, that very very high but the loot is very easy to get easy to access especially uh, those that are on the outside so I don't really bother about the elixir because as you can see on the top right my capacity is at max and then my uh, dark elixir I don't really want to get it that much too because I'm not going to upgrade the Barbarian King I'm going to focus on the Archer Queen once I reach to Town Hall 9 but definitely I'm going to focus on both of them uh, upgrading them uh, simultaneously so that they do uh, proceed in their levels as quick as possible so I'm going to upgrade my Dark Elixir storage uh, soon pre to prepare for uh, Town Hall 9 which actually requires 40,000 Dark Elixir to get the Archer Queen 
So with that said, I'm gonna upgrade the Dark Elixir storage maybe in the next few more episodes, not today. Now I'm going ahead to upgrade the walls with all the remaining gold that I have. So I'm gonna focus on defenses once I reach to Town Hall 9, which will probably be another two more weeks from now. So focusing on defenses doesn't mean that I'm gonna focus hardcore on defenses because I'm gonna use two of my builders to upgrade my heroes. At the same time, I'll upgrade my offenses first, such as the army camp, such as the barracks, and such as those uh, stuff that's as like uh, to upgrade the offense first. So I'm definitely gonna focus on those stuff before I focus on the defenses. So now, as you can see, my wars they have reached to this uh, stats with a uh, level eight wars at thirty nine. So hope. Fully, we'll be able to get all the walls to scout walls before we reach to Town Hall 9. So this is my profile. Almost to completing our go grab achievement, we'll be able to get 20 gems from it. But yeah, not to worry, in the next episode, I'm pretty sure I will be able to get it. So going ahead now, you can see my attack wands have reached 724 with a zero donations, of course, because I still have level 4 archers, but not to worry, I'll get it soon so that I'll be able to donate to my clan mates too. So yeah, that's it for this uh, particular episode update for you guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. And with that said, I'd like to thank you guys for watching my video and clash on.